M. Triplin is a 22-year-old music artist who's currently blowing up with the high potential of reaching mainstream status. With currently over 1.6 million monthly listeners on Spotify, who's been getting recognitions and co-signs from popular celebrities such as Tyler the Creator, Luca Lemonade, Steve Lacey, Lucky, Lil Yachty, as a lyrical rapper, who was mainly first known as a YouTube producer that got a connection with popular rappers. With one artist that helped him build his name, with three songs over 100 million streams, two Billboard charting songs, with even one Billboard charting album, with him being known as Snot would be the guy that helped M. Triplin gang industry connection but wasn't something that was handed nor happened overnight but took the span of eight years to achieve. This is the untold story of M. Triplin. Born Naeem Triplin on February 13, 2001 in Johntown, Pennsylvania, grew up with his early childhood with it being set to creating music. I think it's a good time, bro. In fifth grade, I was playing the saxophone. But then in sixth grade, where you go to the middle school from the elementary school, you get to choose a new instrument. I'm like, I ain't about to be playing saxophone. I'm about to just hop on the percussion. And then from there, I was just doing that shit. Which influenced his start to creating instrumentals and tight beats. I used to borrow my homie's laptop and that had FL on it. And I would just be making, making beats on there. And then we just rap on them on the little voice memos in the mm -hmm. phone. It's like 2014 and we just do freestyles and just, we just make the beat, record, one take the whole freestyle but back in 2015 is where he truly started his producer career starting off with the creation of his youtube page that was created on may 16 2015. he'll post his first beat that got the inspiration from lex luger a producer best known from 808 mafia record production and upload his very first beat title lex luger type beat produced by m trip on the same day that he created his youtube page 10 days later, he'll post another beat on May 26, with it being inspired from another producer titled Jilla Beat Turn Up Type Beat, produced by M Trip, with both beats having just a SoundCloud link titled Naeem Triplin. From posting the Jilla Type Beat, he will randomly disappear from uploading beats on his YouTube page for about two years which he will come back with a more professional look adding a website link to Train Track, a website where producers sell their beats. He even began titling his beats that was based on rappers instead of producers. With just three uploaded beats, he averaged over 8,000 through 14,000 views, which doubled in 2017 with most of his beats uploaded gaining over 20,000 through 40,000 views. In 2017, uh... He had this song to my beat. Mm -hmm. It was called uh, Mr. Clean. It was on a Lucky type beat too. Mm -hmm. And at the time, people was hopping on my beats, but it wasn't good. Mm -hmm. But like this song, I'm like, damn, this shit hard. Like, and I remember my man's. I played it around him just on some regular shit. He was like, Yo, that's hard. Who is that? I'm like, oh, It's this nigga named Yeet. He's like, Oh, that's hard. And then next thing you know, like some time went by, and then he took down the uh, the song. I'm like. Back then, I'm like, nigga, that shit was hard. I don't know why he took it down. But would spark up a small connection that would have Yeet tweeting at M. Triplin for beats. But moving forward to 2018, M. Triplin will begin the start of his music career. With his first song released on August 5th titled Cut Ties. She don't understand why, oh no. I can't put up with these lies no more. Thinking we should cut ties, I know. But I don't want to see you cry no more. But was mainly focused more towards on creating tight beats since it was gaining more traction, with some of his beats hitting over 100,000 through 600,000 views, making it a good opportunity to release more music. He'll upload four new songs that could only be found on SoundCloud and YouTube. In 2019, he will release his first EP with five songs titled Nowhere on February the 13th, with every song currently over 300,000 streams receiving most of his streams from his YouTube viewers, casting the attention from a well-known up-and-coming artist from Seattle, Washington known as Lil Mosey. We use one of M. Triplin type beats but as a throwaway song titled Stunner, released on June 22. He would eventually release his first music video titled Watch Your Step on July 9th. In early 2020, a very well-known artist by the name of Snot would release a snippet which would use one of M. Triplin type beats, which at the time M. Triplin didn't recognize who he was. But I remember I see in my comment section like, oh, this is a Snot type beat. And I'm like, I don't know who Snot is. But then somebody tagged me and he had hopped on. I'm like, oh, I bet. And it was hot. So I was like, I bet. This shit hard. Snot would go on to work with M. Triplin and release his biggest song. And like that summer of 2020, he had made revenge. And I remember he had uh, sent it to me. I'm like, oh shit, this shit hot. A little bit after, he was like, yeah, I think Cole 
trying to shoot it. I'm like, oh, for real? I'm, I'm lit. I'm just like, damn, I'm about to have a lyrical lemonade. I'm like, this is about to fuck John Sound up. They ain't gonna know what's happening. That would get a Cole Bennett directed music video featuring a small glimpse of M Triplin within it. That's currently over 16 million YouTube views and 60 million streams on Spotify titled Revenge. Ending off the year of 2019, he will release his second EP titled No More Tears on December the 5th with every song currently surpassing over 400,000 Spotify streams but with one hitting over 1 million streams titled Playboy Love being his first song ever to do 1 million streams and will also release a music video to the song By My Lonely. Yeah. But began taking his music more seriously in 2020 with the release of his new song titled Bounce Back and will also get a music video released on August 19 that's split between Bounce Back and Don't You. But ended off 2020 with two more songs, Bow It and B***t Mob, with the music video to B***t Mob that currently have over 80,000 views that was inspired by Lil B 2011 B***t Mob Anthem. With his YouTube discography currently having over 800 beats, surpassing 100,000 subscribers on his YouTube page. So in 2021, he began creating TikTok videos, with his fifth video already reaching over 100,000 views. He will see it as an opportunity to promote his music and even further his fan base. Being in 2022 would be the year he truly began taking his music very seriously. I'm used to being at shows, but they're there for snot. You know what I'm saying? They're there for whatever artist I'm with. Mm -hmm. I'm like, imagine a show where they're just there for me. Wanting to become more recognized other than a producer, he will begin the year with releasing a new song the first month on January 5th titled New Jack City. Then released another song on February 5th titled Mr. Clean, but wasn't done releasing consistently with two new songs a month later in March, with the first one being titled Pimp Top. Then March 30th released a song titled Awkward Freestyle. My whole, I had the whole marketing plan. Where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make this shit sampling this. If I take the bit to TikTok, be like, but I sampled this by Tyler the Creator. That was simple Tyler the Creator awkward song. I was 16 when we first laid eyes. I do that and I put it under the sound of Tyler the Creator, mm -hmm. and it's not a, that big of a Tyler song. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get on their pages and shit. He'll begin promoting the song Awkward Freestyle with that first video hitting over 85,000 views. He will go on to drop over 30 TikToks promoting his song, promoting it to the point that he gained over 45 million streams on Spotify and 3.4 million YouTube views with the music video. He will soon get recognized by Tyler the Creator also getting a co-sign. And being that he was going viral, he would not stop releasing consistently, with him dropping 9 days after the awkward freestyle song. On April the 9th, he would release a song titled Louis V, with the song currently surpassing 21 million streams. It will also get released with a music video that's currently at 2.1 million views. I'm like, imagine a show where they're just there for me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta strike on it. So immediately I just start recording. I'm like, my like, in order to do shows, I need a catalog of songs that people fuck with. In the same month on April the 19th, he will drop yet another song titled London Tipton. And being that he will drop it consistently each month from January through April, M Triplin will release another song on May 8th, with the song being titled If You Go. That came with the music video that's currently at 2.2 million views and the song at 10 million streams. He released two more singles in June, starting off with the song Tribulations and Around the World. After gaining millions and millions of streams from Spotify, M Triplin would get invited to go perform at Rolling Loud in New York. I see y'all in the back, I see y'all man, man. I fuck with y'all for real. I go by the name M Triplin and fuck it. Which turned out to be a failed event for him. Having around 30 people show up, but wasn't something that heavily bothered him or stopped him from his music career, but was looked upon as a motivation to release more music with the release of two new songs in July, Heartbeat and Chain Hang Low. 
but took a pause without releasing anything in August, trying to create something cleaner with good quality music and a high level music video. M Triplin will release a song titled Just Friends, with the music video released on September the 7th. Having a gain 2.2 million views with the music video and 26 million streams on Spotify. And being that he was a producer and a close friend of Snot, they will collaborate on a song that was released on November the 6th titled Let You Know. With a music video that didn't do big numbers but averaged over 800,000 views and 7.9 million streams, making it his last song of 2022. In the early year of 2023, M. Triplin would peep his Spotify monthly listeners with him reaching over 1.8 million that he will see as a good opportunity to release new music, which he would on January the 15th with a new song titled Walked In. Last year you performed that rolling loud. In front of a dozen people or so, and then you just recently performed at Rolling Loud again. Okay, okay. I like this crowd, bro. This a this a couple more than the, like 13 people. This is more than that. <laughs> Let's play it. What was that like for you? Uh, it was nice, man. I I, I still feel like I, I got work. You know what I'm saying? The job ain't done yet. That's a festival. They there for a bunch of other motherfuckers. They ain't really there for me. It's not for surely known if M. Chaplin is actually signed to a record label, but according to Google sources, he signed under three record labels. But in an Instagram post, he claims to be an independent artist. But being more known as a rapper, M. Chaplin will release a new song on April the 30th titled Tell Me I'm Right, establishing himself as an underground artist that's reaching to become mainstream. He began working on his first album, but without releasing any music for four months, he will release it on July 9th titled Still Pretty, with only seven songs which has already reached number 44 on Apple Music with just three days of being released. 